This is page 41 in the blue book, Over the Hurdles. And I think this song is going to be a hurdle. It has a lot of right hand over left hand, left hand over right hand. Lots and lots of movement on each line so we're going to have to go very slow and be very careful to notice which hand and which fingers are playing the notes so let's take a look it's in allegro now we should know what allegro means in mazel's metronome is 108 to 126 we have lots of eighth notes and quarter notes so we're going to have to count this one and two and three and four and but we're familiar with that by now but notice right off the bat we're going to start with our right hand finger number four and number two here is high c right in between so we got our four finger on the d and our two finger on the b and then we're going to go to the left hand is going to play up on the g clef and play the g and the D. Then the right hand is going to come down and play with the two finger on the E. Goes two, two. And then right hand still, four, two on the D and the B. Essentially one octave lower than what you did at the start. And then the left hand is going to move down to the F clef and play the G and the D. And then the right hand is going to play on the G. G on the F clef is going to come down and play the E. All right. So we've started high on the right hand. We've moved our right hand all the way down to the E. Now the next two measures, we're going to go back up. We're going to start with the, we had our five finger on the D. We're going to switch to the three, two in the left hand. Then the 2-4, that's the G below middle C. With the right hand, we're going to play 2-4. Then the left hand's going to go above middle C, play with the 3-2. And then the right hand's going to go play the G and the B, and then end with the three finger on the A, up on the G clef. And the left hand's going to play with the 3-4 finger, middle C, and the D. Now that was a lot of hand movement, and it's like that the whole song. I don't want to go through each line. So you might want to get yourself a pencil or a pen and mark where right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, and be sure you don't make any mistakes. But you might want to mark when the left hand and the right hand are playing because it can get very confusing. One way you can pretty much tell wins right hand, wins left hand, is look at which way the flags are pointed. If the flag, the flag poles, telephone poles are pointed down, they're left hand. If they're pointed up, they're right hand. Let that be your guide. All right. Let me switch the camera so we can play this.